Hello, brothers and sisters of the hand. I welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page, my comments. I just give you the other thing to do the minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, something very important. Because everything I say is very important. If you have any comments, questions, and insults, you put it down below. Oh, you purring a lot. Yeah. yeah what's, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, hey, you guys are Say hello. 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 Say hello. The cat, the cat is trapped too. Okay? But the cat is very happy. Okay? The cat is very happy. Trust me. The cat is very happy. Say hello. You purring a lot today. Get away from me. Now. Okay. Gotta groom my cats. They're getting a little flaky now. You must groom your cats or hair start to fly everywhere. But anyway, I digress here. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, or answers, you put it down below. Anything you say shall be held accountable for your own safety, okay? And individualism, okay? If you don't know me by now, check out my other pages and um, and get a life, okay? Because no one has a life, really, okay? Everyone does and then everyone doesn't. Okay? Even if you're living in a homeless street or in a shelter, you have to get a life. But then, then again, you have to think about it. So I do have a life, okay? Okay. But of course, um, this video is going to be about uh, okay. Um, um, uh, the psychology of control and insecurities. Okay. The psychology of control and insecurities. Now, I watch this video. And I like to go on YouTube. There's always something to talk about, but it depends on how, you know, animated you are to talk about the situation. Because people would rather watch me than watch them. But I don't really want that much attention because I'm not really stupid about attention and attention whoring and thoughting and shit like that. I don't do that type of shit. And I don't even ask for PayPal or money, anything like that. I don't have my pages monotone, okay, and also monetized, okay. But of course, um, I'm a psychologist, not pseudo. I read the book, so you can technically be a psychologist if you read up on the information yourself, okay? Because times change, people change, and then it becomes pseudo, okay? Okay, you understand? You follow me so far? I have to slow down for y'all, okay? Um, and so, when it comes to a man or a woman controlling, these are the issues that you must think about. Cause some uh, with female, I used to date females all the time. And next thing you know, they'd be telling me, "Oh, you're such a controlling man. You're such an insecure man." I'm like, I think they got those things misconstrued again. Okay? Now, there's two different types of people in the world: people who control, who have confidence, and people who have insecurities. Okay, most most seventy percent of women out there, and also forty percent beta alpha males, are insecure. And insecurity is basically, it's like uh, they're insecure only about their selfish, narcissistic needs. Selfish. The word selfish has to come in play when you think about insecurities. I'm not insecure at all. I have no selfish insecurities. I have no regrets. Okay. Maybe I do have some regrets, but I can't think about them right now. Maybe I do have some regrets because I really I carefully think about things. So I can't really be insecure. When people ask, tell, when females tell me, you say, you're so insecure because of what your mama did to you. I said, no, my mom was stupid. Okay. <laughs> I know my mom don't watch my videos anyway. But my videos go viral, I'll just delete this one. Okay, and I say, I didn't say that, mama. I didn't say that, mama. Because my mom did the thousand hand slap and shit. And I was started blocking shit. I started blocking my mom's hands in slow motion and shit. And I started realizing I began to learn about Kung Fu. Okay. So I'll just delete this page, okay. But prob then again, probably not. Because my mom did some despicable, wicked things, okay. <laughs> I'll whip my mom's ass. I would ask about I'll whip anybody's ass. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty strong. I didn't. I didn't know how strong I was until I knocked out a 250 pound horse football player. And I'm only 140 pounds. Now I'm like 150. I'm getting a little lazy now. I don't have that six pack no more. So I can get the six pack back. You know, I had to stop eating. Start eating some apple cider vinegar and shit, and start alkalining my body and shit, eating bananas and thinking right. 
But anyway, it's very easy to explain. Okay? Insecurities are insecure people who are selfish in a narcissistic way. So, so let's say, for instance, you tell me, oh, oh okay, um, I don't want you doing this. It's a, it's, you know, I, but I just gave you everything, so you won't feel insecure. So you, that is uh, validating a person. If you validate someone's insecurity, then you're not insecure. They are insecure. Okay? So we get, get this clear out, out of the way. When someone's insecure, they basically... Um, Use a lot of es- a lot of escapism, okay? So they won't feel depressed because they have nowhere else to go. But I'm just saying, you know, it's different from control. It's different from definitely different from control. It's not, you know, when people think of control, isn't they're insecure, so they have to control? No, no, inaccurate information. A person who controls knows the outcome. Of this like this unstable life, okay? It may seem like a sense of insecurity, but you have to accept unpredictability. So a paranoid person, person is, everyone can be insecure if you want to put it like that. That's kind of stupid, right? But it's negative insecurities and it's positive insecurities. And I'd rather be a controlling motherfucker rather than being a soft, insecure motherfucker. I'd rather be a balanced, controlling motherfucker than a person who's out of hand and too sensitive, insecure, you know, so or escapism, insecure. But a lot of people make up excuses, but it's okay. But if a man is in control, an alpha male knows the fact of unstabilities. And usually most alpha males who have taken the red, uh, emerald pill, like I, I said before, you know, true kings doesn't simp. They don't do the simping thing. In the past, I used to simp. So I was like, I was insecure because if I don't give her enough stuff, I was thinking about myself again, see? Then she would leave me alone. But then I realized something. I said, wait a minute, I'm leaving myself out. Right? See, that's insecure. That's called weak insecurity. Strong insecurity is when you already know the unstability facts that may occur in this life. And the tr- a true man who is an alpha male controls shit because he does it. As a matter of fact, let me put it like this. When I live with a woman and people told me not to live with a woman, okay? And I'm like, I just want to test it out. Okay? As I lived with her, I was controlling shit in her house. So I kept quiet most of the time. She was like, you're quiet. You don't really want nothing, she says. I'm like... Yeah, because I'm everything you need, okay? <laughs> I'm confident about that shit. I've been complimented many times. And see, I have the whole bag and the full of, and the nuts. A bag of nuts and a bowl of chips, okay? And and and, 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 and yogurt, okay? I have all those things in common. I, I, I think about all the psychology, so I won't, I, won't, I won't be at fault today. But I'll be called controlling. So I'm in her house, right? And I kicked her out many times because she didn't have control, okay? She don't have control because I am a king. I am a man. Okay, she's a female. As a matter of fact, I talked to women who had control, but I used to get along with them very fun because they understand. Isn't that something? I think that people who are truly in control are the ones who are truly intellectual on a balanced scale, and females who are insecure. It's most likely females or simp males. Okay, who are insecure. They don't tend to make sense a lot of times. Like, I'll hear some females say, oh, you always want me to wear a cl- pair of piece of clothes. I say, why not listen to them? Why not listen to them and, you know, and what he asks for, okay? But if you flip that psychology and say, if you told him, I want you to wear this, and so he should be able to say, okay, okay. If my wife told me, okay, you, you flip the roles and see where the insecurities are at. Because I do this a lot with females. I'm like, okay, you want me to do this? I say, I, I'll do this, okay? That's called a balance control. Okay, that means everyone's insecure to some sort of degree if you want to twist it a certain way like an ass. But I'm talking about two different types of insecurities here. One, when you realize reality is about control or you don't have any control. Okay. Okay. Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. I think you, you get my point here very clearly, okay? Because a lot of women don't have control, so they'll go to college to suck a dick to get a degree, okay? okay? Or fuck, pull on their panties and shit and be a, a, a side piece on a fucking teacher teacher list, okay? A good A student, okay? Apple Pets, Pets Teacher Choice, okay? <laughs> but of course, should I go over 10 minutes about this? Let, let, me, let me get a little, a little more detail here. Because I think I don't think people understand me. No matter how simple I talk or ebonics or whatever, um, insecurities are usually leading to two things: escapism, um, excuses. Okay, and it's non. You can't reverse that psychology. Okay, you reverse the psychology to tell someone, okay, you must be insecure. I said, 
Everybody's insecure to some degree. What are you talking about? What what type of insecure are you trying to focus it on? Are you focused on the reality of this world? You know how cold this world is and things can be happening? Or are you focused on yourself? Now, since women are the number one narcissist in the world, okay, um, duh, okay, facts, okay, um, you have to understand what is insecure. They'll, ref they'll, they'll refrain from saying offensive things to keep their selves safe. I don't have to do such a thing. I just ask them a question. Why do you do that? When, when a person is questioning questions about that, then they have a different type of insecurity, a stronger sense of insecurity, which tries to break apart their insecurity, psychologically speaking. Okay. But you have to understand one thing. Everyone is insecure about something. Okay. The air they breathe, the conditions they're in. Okay. No one is a, can escape from insecurities, goddammit. But it's the level that people get misconstrued. They get it misconstrued. I'll slow down for you because a lot of people don't understand. What do you mean? Sometimes I make mistakes when I talk sometimes, you know. Sometimes I'll say something like, um, uh, the 60% of feet guys out there who are virgins are arrogant, okay? Or ignorant, okay? No, they're not. I, I, sometimes I make mistakes like that, but at least I'm honest about it, okay? You can lead, a wise man can lead someone to, to the water but you can't make them drink right you heard about that and you have to understand that if, if i'm wise you tell me something and i'm doing something wrong i will listen to you this is not i don't have an arrogant sense of control like i tell my wife i'm not arrogant at all i told her everything perfect about myself i'm perfect i'm perfectly balanced i'm perfectly balanced perfectly balanced perfectly balanced perfectly balanced, perfectly balanced, perfectly balanced. <laughs> bad max okay i was thinking about that that coke shit like smoking coke or some shit coke products or some shit um Yes, I had Asperger's, motherfucker. Yeah, so what? I also have schizophrenia. It's, it's a combination of bullshit. It's genetics, baby. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm okay. But um, I know I'm right here. If you're insecure in the negative sense, you will actually be in the wrong. So, for example, I said it again. You ask me to do something, right? I have to do it because I'm not insecure with, on a lower vibrational level, okay? You tell me you want me to wear this one day. I'm going to wear it one day. OK, but you have to understand the positions of a man, woman and child. If I'm the man, then I have more authority than you. I should have more authority than you. There may be a day I say, I don't want to wear that right now, honey. OK, but if I tell you to jump, you should say a female should say how high. OK, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? A woman has to be more subservient than a man should be subservient to a woman. So let's not get those things confused. Now, let's put it like this. Let's change the foot on the other shoe. Because I remember my girlfriend, one of my girls, my girlfriend, Cherie, she told me, if I was a female, I'd be a whore. I said, I don't think so. I don't think I would be a whore. Okay. But the thing is that um, if I had a daddy figure, then it would be different. Maybe I would be a whore. But I think, I, I'm being honest, 50-50, I would probably be a whore. Okay. <laughs> because I didn't have a daddy figure. I didn't have no role models growing up. Okay. But if I run into guys and stuff like that all of the time, it depends and I keep and I keep rejecting them. Okay, then I will automatically come to self-realization because I was aware when I was a child. I asked a lot of questions, so I don't. Th I think it would be more seventy percent. I would not be a whore because I had a lot of questions. Okay, and I'm intellectual, so I don't want a boring man. Okay, so you have to change the roles. And she was on the foot. Okay, um, um, I'm a man, so I have a right to dictate to you or talk to you, not dictate, about how I feel. And if you can't somehow listen to what I feel and you keep rejecting those feelings of what I ask you for, then you're not being the woman. Okay. On the other foot, okay, on the other shoe, okay, if if I was a woman and you was a great man, then I have to listen, okay? There's no doubt about it. I'm subservient. I'll suck your I'll suck your balls, I'll suck your tea bag, I I do the jingle bells and shit like that. I'll do all sorts of crazy shit you wanna teach me. And if you ain't gonna leave me, because you're gonna have another female. Cause I want to, if I want to get fucked, I want to get fucked up my ass. Okay. <laughs> I know that don't sound right. No, I ain't gay at all. I'm not gay, <laughs> but that's just how a woman should be. But in these days of society, uh, women want to go to college and they're thinking they're trying to get that escapism out of their head, their ass. I've been with women who had money. Okay. And I'm not interested in their money. <laughs> so I was a good catch that got away. Because I talk to you and you don't want to listen, that's your fault. Okay. Now, now since you understand the definitions between weak, insecure, 
and strong, intellectual insecure. Okay, I think everyone should not be talking to people about, oh, he's just an insecure little motherfucker. Okay. Now, in the past, I may have said some things about insecurity, but I, I just wanted to make it clear because I just seen the video and I just want to clear it up. Okay, so this video is going to be called The Difference Between um, uh, in, psych the Psychology of Insecurities. Okay, peace and love to you, brothers and sisters. Nerd. Welcome, welcome to my page. If you have any comments, questions, your answers, you put it down below and it'll be monitored, screened, and approved. Peace.